What's up, everybody? The CEO, the money maker, the one and only Storm Taker, Storm Allen, baby. And we back with another mother loving reaction video. Guys, as you can see, I'm all tuxed out, all looking fresh, all shoot out, because we got a new Clash of Clans update right around the corner, guys. And don't worry, I am doing a reaction video because I didn't know this update was dropping. Uh, Darian didn't even reach out to me. Darren didn't even reach out to me and let me know that this update was dropping. Pretty much disappointed. I'm gonna have to reach out to him and say, How dare him not let the CEO know when this update is dropping? So, we got the new Super Dragon event, and I'll be reacting it to this event uh, while watching Judo's video. Shout out to Judo, guys. Go spread Judo some of you love. Use code Judo because I ain't got no code yet. All right, so let's zoom in and let's check this out, guys. First look, first dive in. Let's see how good this bad boy is. The Super Dragon Spotlight no event sounds. brings a new epic piece of the What happened to my sound? Oh, whoops. My bad, guys. Be here with me. It ain't, it ain't a storm stream without that. All right, there we go. Let's, put, let's start that back from the beginning. Sounds good. The Super Dragon Spotlight event brings a new epic piece of equipment for your Grand Warden. Ooh. The fireball is devastating, and I will break it down in the strategy section. But to unlock this, you will have to progress through the event track. The Ooh. Super Ice Bath is the event building where you can I, claim some ice. I love the design. Game, and it's also where you access the event. I love the design. We're going to get that ice bath. Screen giving you a little bit of information this time around. Around, you will collect ice cubes from mm -hmm. stars in multiplayer battles not by taking down okay so pretty much buildings, as with other pretty events. much like the standard events including the super dragon medals and all use collected medals and earn more rewards at the trader super dragon is trainable in less time and reaches your town hall's highest level Ooh. whilst it is not a new limited edition troop it is a big deal firstly it is unlocked straight away wow. in the event that day, I love that ice bath. Eight, nine, and ten players. They now have access to a super draft. That is crazy. Why am I more excited for this than uh, all the other events before? Mimic the regular troop level in the laboratory, but here the super dragon is boosted to, to the that town hall's hall. highest level throughout so the event. So level six super dragons at town hall eleven. Can get access to super troops. They this is a game changer. Access guys. a higher level super dragon. The other main benefit for the first time ever, we can train three super troops in a single army. Yo, that's gonna be a sick combo. Boosted. The event will run from March 11th mm -hmm. through March 21st, so you don't have to boost the super dragon during okay, so that like time. Two weeks. If you are watching this the day prior to the event starting, mm -hmm. do not boost the super dragon in this period because you won't get a refund on your dark elixir, obviously. And tomorrow, when the event three event, super troops in one army, bro. Make your resume stand Come on, bro. Get out of here with that ads. Come on, get out of here event goes live you will be able to unlock the super dragon for the entirety of that event going over the event track first it operates the same as previous events all of the rewards on the bottom of the track are you free unlock for free and the Ooh. rewards on the top you unlock i wonder if it's worth it i just saw a decoration up top that remember you can support a creator beforehand by using entering code, code judo judo and it is very much appreciated by purchasing the pass, you do get 800 ice okay. cubes to get you started, which is enough to get to the 30% training boost. But from here, you will attack in multiplayer oh, to ice cubes. up to <coughs> the end of the track, ice cubes per 10, star. points. You can jam your way up the track should you wish. Once you get to the end, you will have unlocked 3,150 mm -hmm. Super Troop medals, 3,500 shiny ore, and 250 glowy ore. By purchasing the pass, you will gain an extra 5,000 thousand Damn, 5k an extra 600 glowy or and 80 starry or okay you will need to upgrade your epic equipment from the free to play perspective okay you also get the goblin explorer decoration Ooh. and if you purchase the pass you get the i love both of those a bit of a bonus yo Again, those are nice bonus track where you can gain an extra 1170 oh so this time you don't have to pay for the decoration You'll be given the decoration for free. It, that's good. I, I'm glad they kind of changed that. One of the decorations, you're going to get it for free instead of like paying the 
using the currency to pay for that decoration. From a perspective, you can get up to 4,320 of the medals. Okay. For the previous events, we have been given links that we can share with you for mm -hmm. even more of these. And if that is the case this time around, I will be sure to share them on my Twitter and Instagram account. Yeah, I'll share my links, guys. Don't worry. To the end of the Super Dragon Spotlight event track should actually be easier to gain this time because it's all based on, on stars. stars. As long as you are doing a multiplayer battle, you yep. earn ice cubes for every star Yeah, every single gain. attack. Now, whenever you start an attack, you will see the amount of ice cubes you're going to gain above okay. the overall destruction. I like this. You gain a star, that I prefer increases. it this way. You do get a nice I didn't like the next screen. one. At I hope we get that ice bath attack. decoration. You I like it. You gain the exact same amount of ice cubes per star for any league other than Legend League. It okay. appears that you gain an extra 15% because your number of attacks are limited okay. to only 8 per day. However, if you use the Super Dragon, you get a bonus of 50% really? ice cubes for that attack. I've oh. tested this with multiple super dragons so and it's all we gotta find the best super it's dragon army now guys league bonus you can get 450 ice cubes for a three-star attack with 225 bonus ice cubes for using mm -hmm. a super dragon so 675 total this means that you can actually get to the end of the event track in less than 15 attacks that Damn. means you should have plenty of time across the 10 days the event is active you can always drop down in the leagues if you need to speed this process up and perhaps i'm gonna max this out guys i'm gonna max this out and guys i promise y'all i'm gonna max this out in one day i'm gonna do a live stream on it and i'm gonna max it out in one single day in terms of the trader shop my advice okay so we do have other decorations change too much as to whether you have or have not i need to see the equipment there is not a hero skin no hero within the shop okay my recommendation whether you buy the pass or not is always to get the epic piece of equipment the anyway. Fireball! Is the and mission is kind of wonky, really but it looks like it works well. 100 medals, that is what I would recommend every mm -hmm. player unlocks. Following this, if you have purchased the pass or some of the dragon medals, which will more than likely clashy be in the creator. shop, if you are a collector, you might want to get your clashy creator decoration since they mm. are limited edition. Yeah. Personally, I like to try and get all of the limited edition stuff. Mm, it's so not that the best Following though. Following that, I would recommend the all. We are all trying to upgrade our equipment at at the moment especially with the fireball being brand new as well the glowy ore is what I'll, i would I'll, go for i want to see what this uh, this this rarest, equipment can is, do as i've mentioned before the finally i remember we were talking this about this guys i remember i was talking about this in the stream on with some of you guys and we were talking about how unfun unfun is that even a term like how all the other heroes are fun to use, but the warden is just not fun to use. And because we had a giant arrow with the queen and all that kind of stuff was fun to do. And now finally they gave him like a DPS ability. On what it is that you require for your upgrades. Aside from that, my advice has not changed as previous events. I would not go for any of the runes because mm -hmm. you can farm loot anyway. And with the training boost, you're going to be able to farm more during this event. Yep. So the books might be a good option, but more than likely, the potions are probably better. Mm -hmm. Build a potion and research potion so that you can okay. have your builders and laboratory researching even faster. Okay. Moving to the fireball. Let's see it this. It really is epic Boom. in how it looks. It's very fun to use, but you okay. will have to use it very strategically. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. a damage style gear, and mm -hmm. typically we use the Grand Warden as a support hero. That's true. When we take a look at these stats this is for maximum level initially Six but it times. provides a huge dps increase to your grand warden throughout the entire attack okay Remember so that's that a passive ability boosts work passive the ability. ability is when he throws the fireball now the hero boost is the highest amount of dps you can gain on the grand warden with gear the second to this is the rage gem which mm -hmm. provides 88 dps to the grand warden at maximum level but essentially the active ability when you press the grand warden's ability yep. is when he throws the fireball now there so are does he throw the fireball on what he's aiming at because initially the actual splash damage only reaches 
four tiles in radius from where it hits. Interesting. This increases to five tiles at level nine, and then the maximum of six oh, tiles okay. once you get to level eighteen. Okay. Any of the levels in between. So more increase the more tile damage or DPS increases to your grand uh, I love the way that I did that. Levels. It is important, you know, that when you press the ability, it is defense targeting. So exactly as it says oh, in its defense. description. Defense. Wow. The closest defense. Bro, the this is good, bro. Ranged unit it can be a you know how many times i have the grand warden and like there's to, but it might be that you take out one single defense that takes him out this is good bro this is so good i'm gonna you dangerous defense. oh it also if hit the cc troops for the moment it can one shot a bunch of defenses and in combination with the maxed earthquake spell there is not many defenses that can survive wow almost strong enough i can't wait to get this i'm gonna get it in one day the defending archer queen this is why i stopped shopping on one day guys i'm getting this defense and spend another dime on amazon i am getting this defense in i'm getting this in one day as Fireball. To earlier, if you are using the Warden as a support hero, such as with a Queen Charge Root Rider attack, you're not going to want to use the Fireball because it's really unpredictable as to when you would use the Warden ability or the Eternal Tome or the Healing Tome. And let's be honest, as a support hero, they are just better options in synergy with that strategy. Mm -hmm. But where you can use this is when you are using the Grand Warden to perform a warden walk prior to this you could equip the rage gem on the grand warden in mm -hmm. order to increase his attack speed and dps but now you can apply the fireball in order to not only increase the dps that the warden does per strike but mm -hmm. once he's taken out those defenses on the perimeter hit some major defenses in combination with an earthquake, earthquake spell. spell you can so then warden walk is i feel like now warden walk is going to be more viable rest of your troops to pull the warden across he's got the rage gem yeah it's going to be way more viable because he's gonna have way more have dps now if you opt for the fireball but setting up that pathing and taking out key defenses initially might be better depending on the layout the other option you have is combining the fireball with the eternal Not tome which okay. might actually end up being used more because a lot of people use the super archer blimp attack and often you mm -hmm. use the grand warden ability early to protect the blimp moving into yep. the base. Yeah, now, and that also takes out a, a chunk of the this combination. You might opt for the fireball in yep. order to take out some defenses ahead of your warden, and it also helps with your super. Wow, that was perfect. That's a perfect base, army to use it on. To shoot in all different directions. It does mean that you don't have the rage gem. Man, these boys do so smart. Plan to move him across to your root riders or super barbarians, whatever you're finishing this attack with. But it might be worth it based on which defenses he can take out initially to help support the battle blimp. It's mm -hmm. definitely a piece of equipment that is more base specific. I'm looking forward to seeing if the pros combine this with I, other I can't wait to use target it. major defenses in the core. I think it will be very fun to watch. But mm -hmm. let me know how you plan on using Using the epic fireball equipment. Uh, yo, shout out to Judah, bro. Shout out to Judah for that one. Personally, that is my thoughts. Thoughts. Let me get my thoughts up together. Thoughts together. I think this is a beautiful beautiful season update i love what supercell's been doing i love the idea how they're doing stuff now they're updating way more often we got events coming out every single month i would like to see different type of events but this one i see how they made a a huge change and i do appreciate that huge change they've been making making um but i love the uh, the new grand grand warden ability that's gonna be perfect for me and i also love the way you'll gather the 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 power up side the super coins now it's better to me than a uh, single building hmm. guys comment down below what are you most excited for your boys out of here and go subscribe to judo baby peace